A new Gatoman was revealed, and it's very interesting. These new true hybrid cards. Wait, actually, we can't call them hybrid cards, because hybrid cards are literally hybrid cards. I guess dual color works. This Gatoman skill says reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one purple and yellow Digimon from among them to your hand and put the rest of the bottom in your deck. Now, it's not like David, where it says add one blue and one green. It says add one purple and yellow Digimon. So it has to be one of these dual colored cards. Right now with the reveals, there's Gatomon, Mastermon, Wizardmon, and the option Chaos Degregation. Gatomon's second effect is that when Digivolving, either an Arch Angel or Fallen Angel, you reduce the cost by two. So that's all your Magna Angelmons, all your Angel Womans, your Lady Devimons, and Neo Devimon. How thematically appropriate. But here's the effect that really broke my brain when I read it and I really wanted to get into. Gatomon's inherited effect says, at the end of your turn, this Digimon and your other Digimon can Jogress Evolve or DNA Digivolve into a Digimon card from your hand by paying its cost. This is literally like Blitz, but for DNA Digivolving. Now let's make some assumptions and also do Magical Christmas Digimon cards. I mean, you're playing purple. You're going to be making assumptions anyway. So let's assume you played Gatomon a turn before, search for a Mastermon. This turn you have your Memory Tamer and you Digivolve up into any of the Angel Woman or Magna Angel Mons, or one of the Devi Mons, Neo or Lady. Or the cost of one, mind you, with the Gato Mons effect. Leaving you at two, then you can hard cast one of the cheap ultimates, either yellow or purple, they cost five, as long as it's the opposite of whatever you digivolved over Gato Mon. That would then put your opponent at three, but this is where Gatomon's effect comes in. Now that she's under that Angel Woman or Lady Devimon, which allows you to hard cast that Magna Angelmon for recovery one, you can now proceed to DNA Digimon when you already essentially passed the turn. Drawing you another card and using its effect, grab a yellow or purple Digimon from your trash and put it on top of your security. Then go on your security and just call any level five or lower Digimon without paying its cost. And if you had called that Magna Angelmon, you get another choice. Also, their on-play effects do activate, so if you find another, another Magna Angemon, you would heal that one card you lost, or even finding another Gatomon to do the same thing next turn. Now, remember that part about their on-play effects still activating, because it's key to what broke my brain. I don't know if a lot of people out there know about this thing called, I don't know, Lilithmon Loop? To keep it brief for those who don't know, it's a purple deck where you try to toss as many cards into your trash as possible, then digivolving to Lilithmon, who gives you back two purple option cards if you have a bunch of cards in your trash. Follow that up with a card called Jack Raid, which costs zero, and the more cards in your trash, the more memory it gives you back. Once per turn, Lilithmon gives you two free memory just for playing an option card. And remember, you got two options from Lilith Mon. You can play that other Jack Raid. If things went properly, you should have more than six memory. Digivolving into Omnimon Zort should leave you at zero from Lilith Mon. Or you can do it correctly and play a White Tamer, then play Mega Digimon Fusion for zero, allowing you to Digivolve to Omnimon for free. Zort's effect brings back two cost eight or less cards from your trash, which means you could bring back two level fives if you want, but you need at least one for the loop. Attacking with Omnimon Zort gives you back Lilith using its on attack skill. Oh, and it has this other effect of popping one of your opponent's cards. Fringe benefits, really. Oh, look, you have a Lilithmon in your hand and you can play it over your level five again to get back two cards from your graveyard. I wonder what two cards to get, Jack Raid. So, so far, you've digivolved three times, Lilithmon, Omnimon, Zorus, and then Lilithmon again. You've gotten four cards from your trash to your hand, and you've gotten two Digimon back from your trash to the field. Oh, and that one card you pop with Zorus. But what if you could do more? So once again, we're assuming, and please, just indulge me. After Mega Digimon Fusion, Digivolving up to Omnimon Zorts, what if the two Digimon you got back was the new Gatomon and Cerberusmon? Now the Gatomon procs again, allowing you to search the top five for a yellow purple card, and Cerberusmon allows you to draw two, then trash one card. Now the loop proceeds as normal. You attack with Zorts, pop a card, and return Lilithmon from the source to your hands. 
but this time you digivolve Gatomon again. Then just to go over your memory threshold, you call another level five, whatever the opposite color of whatever you put over Gatomon, as long as you leave Cerberusmon by himself. Now that you're passing your turn back over, and hopefully we're not trying to give them any more than three, we have effects to resolve. Let's do the Gatomon first before you start throwing away Omnimons because of the Mega Digimon Fusion. Get that DNA Digivolve at the end of the turn, and using that effect, we're searching the trash for Cerberusmon Werewolf Mode. People probably already knew where I was going with this, but searching for Cerberus Mode in your trash or your security, and then bringing it out to the field. Now, Omnimon Zorts can't get cars above eight, but Mastermon can. And not only it can, it still has that good old on play effect activating. So you activate Werewolf Mode's effect, delete your other Cerberus Mon, and you get nine memory. Now, if that at three, you go back up to six, and now it's not even the end of your turn anymore. Omnimon, you stay right there. We have Lilith Mons to Digivolve again. Actually, Werewolf mode you have rush please attack before i digivolve over you let's play that other jack raid if you didn't now it's time to digivolve into lilithmon again get back those jack raids let's get a little crazy play that jack raid get that two free memory bet you drew another mega digimon fusion but let's not even use it this time we got plenty of memory and plus we're gonna need this omnimon to stay till next turn what are we even getting back this turn how about another cerberus mon let's get spicy what is this rush card gengakumon promote let's get that that's another extra swing in there steve what's that card ultimate sacrifice yeah that let's play that let's get back werewolf mode let's get another nine memory let's keep going can we extend any further is there any more I can do? Is there easier ways to do this? Am I wrong and they are rat at this? Is the rulings already out? Is this whole video invalid? If anybody else has something to say, now's the fucking time! It's 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm editing and I need to go to bed. Like and subscribe and shout out to DigimonCard.dev and uh, Insan Gaming and Production channel. I need to go to sleep.